Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. So today I'm going to show you how to make homemade chocolate gravy. Now this is my wife's family recipe and they've been making this homemade chocolate gravy for well over a hundred years. It's really simple, quick, and easy to make and it absolutely tastes great on homemade biscuits, waffles, and pancakes. So stay tuned. Okay, simple ingredients for this homemade chocolate gravy. You need a cup of sugar. You need three teaspoons of cocoa. You need a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of milk, and a half a stick of butter. Okay, just a note before I begin, this is just a simple three-quart pot. Okay, to begin, go ahead and put your sugar in there, and that's a cup of sugar, and then I've got three teaspoons of cocoa powder in here, and so I'm going to put that in there, okay? Now this is key, this step is key. Stir that up. You want to get that sugar and that cocoa all stirred up together. And if you get a little lumps, go ahead and knock those out. Just by keep stirring. And if you wanted to, you could use a whisk on this, but you don't really need to. So this is what you want it to look like after you stir up your cocoa powder and your sugar. You want to get that mixed in really well. Okay, that, and that's really easy to do. So the next step, pour in your milk. And that's a half a cup of milk. And then we're going to put in our butter. Okay, so we're going to stir all this up. And we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn this on to medium until this butter gets melted. And just a note, while this is heating up, you can definitely stir this if you'd like while that butter's melting and our butter just got done melting okay so what we're going to do now now that our butter's done melting we're going to go ahead and turn this up to medium high go ahead and start stirring this as it's coming up to a boil we're going to bring this up to a full rolling boil and that's where we're at right now and we're going to let this cook for about one minute now, full rolling boil is a boil that doesn't subside when it's when it's being stirred, and that's where we're at. We're gonna let this go for about one minute. Keep stirring. Okay, this has been boiling for about one minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So now what we wanna do, while this is cooling down, we wanna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now this is my homemade vanilla extract. There is a video out on that, so I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon to it. And that vanilla really does help the flavor. You don't have to put it in there, but it really does make that chocolate gravy taste great. Okay, and as this cools down, it's going to thicken up. We're just gonna let it cool down for a little while before we put it on our biscuits. Okay, so what I wanna show you, this is cooling down. It's still kind of warm. I'm going to show you how thick this gets. It's really nice. And you only have to boil it for one minute. And it's ready to go. Okay, now we're going to put it over some biscuits. Okay, so I've let this cool down. And you can see how thick it's gotten when it cools down. And if it crystallizes just a little bit, just mix that in there. So now we're going to put that on a homemade biscuit that I just made. And there you go. We hope you gained some useful knowledge on how easy it is to make homemade chocolate gravy. And this is from a 100 year old recipe. Thanks for watching.